Hey, Brian New Neighbor here. I wanted to show you some of the more advanced features in Pedal Customizer software. Most people won't need to access these features, but if you have a special use case, something a little out of the ordinary that you'd like to do, then maybe one of these features would be useful for you. So I have Pedal Customizer running. This is beta version 1.4. I have my pedal connected. And these three features that I want to show you are located in the program menu. So the first one is disable verify. And this does exactly what it says. It will disable the verification of the programming during the update step. So first, let's take a look at how long the programming takes with the verification on as it normally would be. It doesn't take too long, but if you're in a real hurry, you can turn this off and boom, it's a lot faster. If you've had good success in the past with uh, programming your pedal, then it's completely safe to turn this off if you like. The second feature I'd like to show you is the force mono selection. So I'm going to share with you a little known secret about the stereo pedals. The stereo pedals actually have two completely distinct programs loaded into them. One of them is loaded when the pedal is used mono. The other one is loaded when the pedal is used stereo. How does it know the difference? When you have a quarter inch plug plugged into the second output jack, it loads the stereo program. When you do not have a quarter inch plug in the second output, it loads the mono program. And these programs are completely separate. The reason that it uses separate programs is that the effect might be slightly different in mono than it is in stereo. And mainly this has to do with how the two outputs are summed. Now I'm only talking about the effect outputs, not the dry signal. In all cases, Pedal Customizer has no effect on the dry signal. And so if you have stereo dry signals on your inputs, they will be stereo on the outputs, and they will not be affected by Pedal Customizer in any way. So there may be a case where you would like a mono effect on your stereo outputs. One is suppose that you are using the two outputs as dual mono instead of stereo. For example, you have one output run to an amp and you have the other output run to something like a recording console. And you want those two outputs to be exactly the same. Provided that you have a mono input then by selecting the force mono option, it will put a mono effect on both outputs. Another case where you might want to use the force mono option is when you're using the echo and you have a stereo input and stereo outputs, but you do not want the ping pong echo you want to just have a mono echo on your stereo inputs. Then by selecting force mono, you will be loading the mono effect into the pedal, and this will get used whether you're using the pedal in mono mode or stereo mode. The third option I'd like to show you is split update. Now, I just finished telling you how two separate programs are loaded into the pedal 
every time you program it with Pedal Customizer. One program is loaded when you're using the pedal mono, and a different program is loaded when you're using the pedal stereo. So now you'll notice there are two update buttons, and this allows you to program a completely separate effect in the mono mode than you have in the stereo mode. So suppose that you sometimes run your pedal mono and other times run it stereo, but you want it to load different effects in those two different modes. So this is how it works. Let's say we want the stock wet stereo reverb loaded in the mono mode. So now we've just programmed it to do that. But when we're using it stereo, we want to load a different version of that reverb. Let's say the low modulation version. Then we can program that in the stereo program. So now when you're using the pedal mono, it loads the normal stock version of the reverb. But when you're using it stereo, it loads the low modulation version. You can also program it to load a completely different effect. Let's say when it's used stereo, you want to load the Echelon Echo. You can do that too. Now one other interesting side effect of this is that if you are using the pedal mono, you can insert a dummy plug into the second output to load a different effect. This only works when you're using the pedal mono, of course. In order to do this, you need to have both the force mono option selected and split update. So this is how this would work. Let's say when you do not have a dummy plug inserted into the second output, you want to load the stock stereo reverb. So we're going to program that into the mono program. And when you have a dummy plug inserted into the second output, you want to load a different effect. Let's say the chorus with the tone knob. We're going to load that into the stereo program. But in this case, since we have force mono selected, it's going to load the mono version of this effect into the stereo program. So when you insert a dummy plug into the second output, it loads the mono version of this effect. Okay, so those are the three interesting features that I wanted to show you. I hope you uh, try them out. Let me know what you think. You can download Pedal Customizer at www.newneighbortechnology.com. Please send us your feedback and we look forward to hearing from you.